name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me power to destroy anything that has destroyed my parents. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, mountains and move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Man things that move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Man things that move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Man things that move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Man things that move my parents out of their promised land. I move you out of my land in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I receive the power to pursue any dark power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to pursue any dark power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive that power to pursue any dark power that pursued my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. I receive the power. To humiliate whatever power humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to humiliate whatever power that has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to humiliate whatever power has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to humiliate whatever power that has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to humiliate whatever power has humiliated my parents. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With a voice louder than anyone around you, say, I crush to powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush your powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush your powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, I crush your powder. Any power that wants to cover my glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to kill me on the day of my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to kill me on the day of my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to kill me on the day of my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to kill me on the day of my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree upon your life that battles inside of you, battles outside of you, battles around you shall expire in the name of Jesus. I decree that any power bringing bitter labor into your life must carry their load and die in the name of Jesus. I decree that the power of God will arise and block all those powers that want to block you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree upon you that any power laboring to spoil your tomorrow, the Lord will visit them with judgment in the name of Jesus. And any curse manipulating your legs to the wrong place, I command the curse to break. I command the curse to break. I command the curse to break in the name of Jesus. Any power speaking death on your destiny must be wasted. Must be wasted in the name of Jesus. Must be wasted in the name of Jesus. And all the powers that are protecting your battles from dying, the end of those powers have come. They are dead in the mighty name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Before I go into the word of God, there are seven strange prayers I wanted to pray. I wanted to pray with volcanic fire. I wanted to pray like a man or woman who is not ready to take no for an answer. I wanted to pray with the spirit of enough is enough. Remember blind Bartimaeus in the Bible. 
did not say his prayers. He cried them out. This is a crying prayer. Pray it with fire and with power. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers! Arranging me to be a victim of mistakes. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Powers arranging me to be a victim of mistakes. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Powers arranging me to be a victim of mistakes. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Powers arranging me to be a victim of mistakes. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Powers arranging me to be a victim of mistakes. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like someone who just prayed that prayer. You have documents hanging. The Lord said I should tell you that within seven days, your hanging documents have been released in the name of Jesus. As somebody praying this prayer through, you have a clinical prophecy from the doctor. As a result of that prayer now, the clinical prophecy has been cancelled and you have been made whole in the name of Jesus. Pray the second prayer like this. Arrows are signed to make me forget my destiny dreams. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows are signed to make me forget my destiny dreams. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows are signed to make me forget my destiny dreams. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows are signed to make me forget my destiny dreams. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise. And prove to my enemies that you are God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise. And prove to my enemies that you are God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise and prove to my enemies that you are God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise and prove to my enemies that you are God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Continue to say it. Continue to say it. Continue to say it. The Lord must prove to your enemies that is God in your life. Continue to say it. Continue to say it. Makapola kaya bo shende rabo kopola kanda. Ribo sopola kaya bo shente. Back as a thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say powers. Writing my name in the book of endless battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers writing my name in the book of endless battles. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Seven persons have just prayed that prayer. This is what is going to happen. Where the roads have been closed against you, the roads shall be mysteriously opened. And where they have rejected you, you shall become a divine phenomenon. You shall become a mysterious wonder. They will glorify the Lord because of you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout this loud and clear. Voices from the grave. Speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave speaking into my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon in the temple of my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any traffic of demons, Operating my dreams. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. Any traffic of demons operating my dreams. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. Any traffic of demons operating my dream. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? 
Arise and let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, why is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, why is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, why is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this program. And I thank you for your grace and power upon their lives. I thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit upon them. And I thank you for your power, which is the absolute power. Matalika, the karibo shatende kantela kayaba. As many as are gathered onto this program now, right there where you are, receive the anointing for breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing to pray through. In the name of Jesus, receive the engine of prayer. In the name of Jesus, you receive the anointing to fight from your Jacob to your Israel. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing to fight from your Jacob to your Israel. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tonight we are going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Last week, we started this series on deliverance of the hands. We we'll go on a little bit further tonight. I explained to you that day the value and power of our hands. And we read from Job chapter 37, verse 7. Job 37, verse 7. Which has this to say. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his works. And I tried to explain to you that day, that God has set his seal on the hand of every man. I will explain the power in the hands to you. We say hands perform service. Hands perform work. Hands respond to things. Hands on the head represents suffering. Lifting up the hands above the head is a sign of blessings and praise. And I explained all this to you last time. The Bible talks about lame hands. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 12, Hebrews 12, 12, Hebrews 12, 12, this is wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees. A hand can physically and spiritually hang down. A hand may look okay physically. But in the spirit realm, it's hanging down, it's lame, it's withered. Once that hand is lame in the spirit realm, it will not be able to handle anything heavy. People color their fingernails. These people who color fingernails will be very, very careful. Because those colors have meanings in the spirit realm. Red, the covering of blood. Orange, covering of evil. Yellow, covering of weakness. Black, covering of death. Pink, covering of lust. So all these people who are painting, 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 you may not realize the spiritual damage you are doing to your hands. A man needs his hands to carry out his daily activities. If physical hands are incapacitated, it can bring the whole of life to a halt. The same thing in the spirit realm. If the spiritual hands are incapacitated, it will arrest your spiritual progress and that will transport into physical progress. So, spiritually, hands can be changed. Spiritually, hands can be polluted. Spiritually, hands can be poisoned. Spiritually, hands can be amputated. Spiritually, Hands can be counterfeited. Spiritually, hands can be frozen. Spiritually, hands can be wounded. Spiritually, hands can be exchanged. This is why as many people as are in this program now, with a voice that will embarrass the people who are even far away from you, 
I want you to pray one of the most important prayers you are ever going to pray for your hands. Lift up your two hands and shout like this. My divine original hand. Appear in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and shout it loud. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My divine original hands. Jesus, then we pray. In Psalm 144, verse 1, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord my strength. In Psalm 144, verse 1, Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to walk and my fingers to fight. He teaches my hands to walk and my fingers to fight. So your hand is a weapon of war. Once those hands are tied, your hands will be too short to box with the enemy. The Bible makes us to understand in Genesis 48 that your hand is an instrument of blessing. The Bible makes us to understand in Exodus 17 that your hand is an instrument of prevailing prayers. As long as they lifted up the hands of Moses, victory came. Once the hands came down, the Israelites began to lose. Your hand is a power transmitter. So you shall lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Your hand can release blessing on anything you touch. Your hand is an instrument of honor. It's an instrument of increase and prosperity. Your hand is an instrument of worship. To worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Your hand is an instrument of deliverance. When God anoints your hands, miracles and victory will follow. Uncommon success will come your way. I pray that the Lord will anoint your hands in the name of Jesus. Once the Lord anoints your hands, your enemies will flee before you. Your adversary become helpless in your hands. Your hands become the trap of your enemies. And those your ordinary hands will begin to do extraordinary things. I pray that the Lord will lay his own hands upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. And any invisible evil hand laid on your own hands shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. This hand is an instrument of healing. It's an instrument of ordination. It's even an instrument to make somebody receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. An instrument of miracles. Therefore, if the hands are caged, tied, defiled, amputated, paralyzed, weakened, Changed, cursed, injured, cobwebbed, broken, twisted, rendered impotent, suspended, overpowered, exchanged, deceased, manipulated, or remotely controlled, it will show in your life and in your destiny. Once the arms are under attack, there will be automatic failure mechanism. There will be unexplainable loss of good things. There will be great difficulty in locating your path of prosperity. There will be non achievement. You need to pray very well tonight if you have inherited a cursed hand. You need to pray very hard tonight 
if there is an incision on your hand, you need to pray very hard tonight. If at a stage in your life you were wearing satanic rings and jewelries on the hand, you need to pray very hard tonight. If you have used or hands to carry sacrifices or do all kinds of things that are evil, God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are in this program, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, you have an opportunity to do so now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bring out your oil now. Thank you, Jesus. Put a little bit of oil on your palm and stretch that palm while we pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, the oil on this hand, let this oil become the oil of fire, the oil of power, the oil of breakthrough, the oil of deliverance. In the name of Jesus, now rub your two hands together with that oil. Do it aggressively. Do it aggressively. Aha. 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 My heart receive deliverance by fire in the name of Jesus. name we pray. That is the first operation. Put a fresh oil again on your palm. Thank you, Jesus. Father, this is the second time. Let this oil be a sanctifying oil. Let this oil be a promotion oil. Let this oil be a deliverance oil. In the name of Jesus, Again, rub the two hands together aggressively. Rub it aggressively. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God is coming upon you. You can't hide in that hand. Because enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This is number three now. Pour oil again on the palm. Thank you, Jesus. And get ready to sing this song with fire and with a clapping that is louder than anyone around you. Even if you are feeling pain, clap it harder as you sing this particular song. Father, this oil, let it become the oil of power, the oil of strength, the oil of glory. The oil of the mightiness of the name of the Lord. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rub those hands together again. Thank you, Jesus. Rub it together again. As you sing this particular song, which you are only going to sing for a few minutes, let your hand roar like thunder. When you start clapping, your clapping will become thunder and terror to the enemy. And they will run away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are beating your work. Father, perfect your work. You are beating your work in my life. Father, perfect your work. You are beating your work. You are beating your work. Father, perfect your work. As from today, every good thing these hands will touch must prosper in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I decree that every hand writing of darkness upon every hand will disappear in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost will melt away every satanic deposit in the hand. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now you are going to shout a sevenfold amen at this prayer. Makapata ni kariba. Any curse issued upon the hand of anyone or anyone connected to us. Pray! Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another revival hour. We thank you for your grace, your love, your might and power. We thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. And we thank you for your name which is above all names. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us by the power of the God of Elijah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Today in our revival hour, we're going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, and we're looking at what we call the dark veil. The dark veil is a serious matter to consider. In Second Corinthians chapter 11, the dark veil. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Second Corinthians 11, 14. The dark veil. And no marvel for Satan himself. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light please listen to me carefully there is a mysterious deep battle going on it's even raging in this nation now 
between the righteous and the unrighteous, between the circumcised and the uncircumcised. Where you are now is not your final bus stop. What you are now is not your best. This is not you. When the collect you comes back, the enemy shall cry. That's why I'm praying for somebody today. All those masquerading powers that are hiding to attack you, they shall be exposed and disgraced. In the name of Jesus, let that demon rule like thunder. A woman in this church invited a hairdresser home to be doing her hair. Because she thought that was better than going to meet them. After some time, she discovered that the hairdresser was coming to her house when she was not at home. And little by little, little by little, the hairdresser took her husband away. She came to make air, but she has taken the husband away. And before we could say Jesus is Lord, the hairdresser has become pregnant. And the woman at home is still praying to have a child. She started prayer. She wanted to move out of the place. I said, no, stay there. Stay there and give them a hard fight. Stay there. She started praying. She prayed all kinds of prayers. The one day she prayed a demasculating prayer. Prayer against the dark veil. This is why spiritual warfare is a strange war. Because sometimes what you are seeing like this is not what is you are fighting. Sometimes where you think the battle is coming from is not where it's coming from. Sometimes your friends are portrayed as your enemies and your enemies are portrayed as your friends. I'm praying for somebody here. I said all those masquerading powers that are attacking you with style with style. Let them be exposed and disgraced. Let them be exposed and disgraced. Let them be exposed and disgraced. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. She started praying again. One man appeared before her. Short man. The man was bandaged all around. Only the hand was free. And the hand held something. And said, take, take your marriage back. Take everything I've stolen back. And she took it from the man. I said, thank you. And the man turned. I was going away. A bandaged man. All of a sudden, something said to the sister. So although you got what you want, try and know who this person is out of interest. He said, hey, you, Mr. Man, or whoever you are, come back here in Jesus' name. And he didn't turn back. Because the Bible says, he has given him a name which is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every name should bow. He turned back, said, remove your bandage. I want to know who you are. There was reluctance. And I said, remove that bandage in the name of Jesus. Then the bandage began to move. By the time the bandage got to the face, because it started from the feet, tell me, got to the face. I said, eh? Baba Kukuru? Hey, Nini. Ah. What have I done? This was her uncle. She stayed there when she was a student. Now look at where the attack is coming from. This is a very serious matter. And so anybody who is afraid tonight should not pray. A sister found that when she gets salary, the salary will just vanish. She got a lot of big money. She will not know what she did with the money. She got home after a meeting like this. And she did a funny thing. Before she went to bed. She took a small cutlass she had at home and said, you evil hand that you are stealing my money. She didn't see anybody. She said, I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. When she did the first circle, I cut you off. I cut you off. All of a sudden, there was a loud voice. Yeah! But she didn't see anybody. She was so scared, she dropped the cutlass and could not sleep in that room that night. By the next morning, a family member in the village Something had cut off her hands. She was behind it. 
there is something they call it demon idol. Demon idol. They send them to people. But by the time you probe them, they will tell you who sent them. I'm praying for somebody here. Anybody sending demon idol against you? Whether you are seeing the demon idol or you are not seeing it, then the demon idol attack the sender. Let them attack the sender. In the name of Jesus. One school I was going to many years ago, as a burial ground, close to our school. I noticed that some people come to school and they are shaking. Say, teacher, teacher, I saw spirit dwarfs. Spirit dwarfs. They were running after me. And they'll be shaking. Teacher will be pouring water on their head. I used to wonder. I pass there every day. I could see them. So and they were saying they were seeing the demon dwarf, demon dwarf, spirit dwarfs. Am I strange? I can't see them. So one day, I decided to even pass inside it. Whether I will see them. I didn't see them. It was when I grew spiritually. That I began to understand why I did not see them. And why they are seeing them. They were sent to them. They could not be sent to me. I pray that the anointing of touch not. By the powers of darkness. Will come upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. What am I trying to explain tonight? Many are bearing bondages, burdens, loads they cannot see. Many are being put in fresh bondages every day. Many have received what you call satanic salary advance. So any money they make now, they are just repaying Many are feeding the enemies who fight them hard because of this dark veil. It's a dark veil. Dark veil. One great mistake you can make in your life is to know that you are living with a witch. And you go to that witch. Say, Mama, you are a witch. I saw you last night when flying. Witchy! It's a great error. She may not say anything, and she may say something. But that tragic mistake, what it will cost will be this. She will take your case file and transfer it to a higher wish. Then you will not see them again. But if you kept quiet, you know she's a witch. But you are not talking. You are watching. You will be able to know our visitors, our friends. Then you will know that there are plenty. So you know who to face and what to face. May the Lord damage our ignorance in the name of Jesus. The devil specializes in masquerading. We must know how to address that covering in prayer. That covering, they will cover like this. We must know how to address them in prayer. You know, when they say occultic, 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 occult means to conceal, to hide. To cause something to disappear from your view. It means something secretive. Something mysterious and supernatural. Anyone who wants to get rid of embargo. We need to specifically pray. To uncover the secrets of the enemy. To uncover how you acquire embargo. How you acquired unwanted loads. To see how they renew their contract. Satan hides his way. From the eye of our understanding. Satan creates occultic veils. And uses magic. Fetish power. Sorcery. Enchantment. And every dark strategy. To hide from sight. Many people. Will react violently. They may go on 7 days drive. They may go on 40 days drive. If all of a sudden that veil is removed. And they see where the battle is coming from. The devil does not want you to do that. He doesn't want you to engage in that kind of war. He knows that you will destabilize what he has done. 
Therefore, it tries to masquerade. It tries to hide. The enemy hides. He conceals. He buries things. Wears clothes. He wears masks. Disguises. Covers. Majority of those who are marching about in this country say, I'm a big man, I'm a big man. They are mostly practically herbalists, sanitary doctors. With what they do, with the evil thing they carry out. Some will say, I want to become a politician. So because of that, now enter into where you should not enter into. Drink what you should not drink. Become what you should not become. And you become a satanic agent. The enemy withdraws things. Keep it away from sight. They camouflage. They masquerade. They cover up. And they try to conceal their identity. And sometimes they use a smoke screen. So you won't even know where the battle is coming from. You are about to pray one prayer now. And I want you to pray it with merciless violence. There was a sister in this church. She was on her way to work. She has just had a baby. And the mother-in-law was looking after the baby. So, and she stayed with them for a while. So she went to work. All of a sudden, at the bus stop, something said, go back home. Go back home. She said, why? She said, go back home. So, okay. She obeyed. She went home. And the thing said, go to the dustbin. Go to the dustbin. So why am I going to the dustbin? Then she remembered that before she started going to work, her menstrual pad, she tied it in another bag and threw it in the dustbin. He said, go there. By the time she get there, something she had thrown in before she went to work just now had disappeared. She started shaking. She ran inside without knocking the door. Ran straight to where this mother-in-law was to find the woman busy licking the blood on the pad. Say this loud and clear. Every masquerading power harassing my destiny. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. Listen, since the enemy forms a covering to hide his ways, we too must look past the visible to see the invisible. We too must stop seeing men just after the flesh. We need to break anything the enemy creates to hinder our ability to discern. Many of us have walked into the net of the enemy just like that. Because we could not discern. We did not understand. Many of us have unconsciously entered into a terrible satanic web. We are now struggling to set ourselves free. Struggling to set ourselves free. This is a very, very serious matter. A young lady was coming to our youth church from the University of Lagos. And she was hearing the word of God. Hearing the word of God. And her life began to change. She was one of those guys on the campus who go out to sugar daddies at weekend. Going about with men older than their fathers because of money. If you are one of them, repent before those men waste you. Because they may waste you beyond deliverance. This girl came to the church for a while. And then her friends were laughing at her. But she stopped going out with the men. But one weekend, a friend convinced her to try it once again. So she followed this man to somewhere on the island. Her parents were in a battle, struggling to finance her. She has gone with a strange man. They entered the house. Big house, she said. 
Now, if a person is not mad or crazy or insane or all three, if you enter a big house, no house boy, no house girl, no wife, no children, and it's big, huge like that, and I've said, ah, <laughs> dangerous place. Anyway, the man said, okay, you go and have a shower before we start. So she went to have a shower and laid on the bed. The man said, now let me go and have my shower. The man went to the shower and she was laying on the bed, flat, face off. All of a sudden, the door of the shower opened. But no man came out. What came out was a large python. Huge snake. And the snake was crawling towards the bed. She saw the snake. She was afraid. She tried to stand up. She could not stand up again. But I see something that's glued out to that bed. Then she remembered she came to youth church. And she said, Jesus. No, Jesus is not answered that day. And the serpent came. Crawled on her tummy. And folded on her tummy like this. She said the weight of the serpent was so much she could hardly breathe. Then all of a sudden, she found that something was sleeping with her. And she didn't know what it was. After some time, the snake came down, went back to the shower. Door closed. Then the man came out. When she saw the man, she screamed. She took her bag, dressed up very quickly, and started running away. I said, wait, wait and collect your money, wait and collect your money. And the man gave her five thousand dollars, but right from that day, a problem started. A girl of twenty-one, a period ceased. Everything went wrong. She began to lose weight, she began to lose her mind, but she did not tell anybody what she had done until her parents brought her here. Then she told me what happened. Put her hand in her bag, brought the money. So, Jill, take the money. Sir, so, I don't want. I don't want. You still remember the place? Take the money back there. Your first deliverance is to go and return this money. I'm praying for somebody here. Every friend that is masquerading to derail you shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let your amen go like thunder. It was Satan that masqueraded as a friend to deceive her to go there. Can you shout this with boiling anger? Masquerading power! Attacking my star! You are a liar! Dad! In the name of Jesus! name we pray. What was that prayer you prayed? <laughs> Say, dark veins covering my enemies. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Dark veins covering my enemies. Catch fire. Then we pray. What was that prayer you prayed? Give that prayer ten minutes before you sleep tonight. So all oh, heavens arise. Repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh heavens arise. Repair any damage in my life. Oh heavens arise. Repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh heavens arise. Repair any damage in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh heavens arise.
Repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, heavens arise, repair any damage in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace my spiritual Life. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual robbers, spiritual thieves, depart from my spiritual life in the name of Jesus. Spiritual robbers, spiritual thieves, depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Depart from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power drinking the blood of my spiritual life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life. Clear away from my life. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. Day and night affliction. Clear away from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory has been stolen, I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wherever the power of the wicked has stopped me, I go beyond that stop in the name of Jesus. Wherever the power of the wicked has stopped me, I go beyond that stop in the name of Jesus. I go beyond it in the name of Jesus. I go beyond it in the name of Jesus. I go beyond it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power assigned to cage my life, I stop you before you stop me in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to cage my life, I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus, any power assigned to cage my life, I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus, any power assigned to cage my life, I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus, any power assigned to cage my life, I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every conspiracy of darkness has stopped me. 
I stop you now in the name of Jesus. Every consequence of darkness that has stopped me. I stop you now in the name of Jesus. Every consequence of darkness that has stopped me. I stop you now in the name of Jesus. I stop you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil cages. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. Enter your cages and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every wicked hand. Feeding me with waters and food of affliction. Die in the name of Jesus. Every wicked hand. Feeding me with waters and food of affliction. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any evil mark assigned to stop me. Blood of Jesus, erase them in the name of Jesus. Any evil mark assigned to stop me. Blood of Jesus, erase them. Blood of Jesus, erase them. Blood of Jesus, erase them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise in the mightiness of your power. Take me to my place of glory in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in the mightiness of your power. Take me to my place of glory in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in the mightiness of your power. Take me to my place of glory in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in the mightiness of your power. Take me to my place of glory in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in the mightiness of your power. Take me to my place of glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The door of hope that the enemy has closed. Oh God, arise and open the doors in the name of Jesus. The doors of hope that the enemy has closed. Oh God, arise and open the doors in the name of Jesus. The door of hope that the enemy has closed. Oh God, arise and open the doors in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, so wherever the crown of my head has been damaged, I repossess them in the name of Jesus. Wherever the crown of my head has been damaged, I repossess them in the name of Jesus. Wherever the crown of my head has been damaged, I repossess them in the name of Jesus. I repossess them in the name of Jesus. I repossess them in the name of Jesus. Whatever the crown of my head has been damaged, I repossess them in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every curse fulfilling the work of disappointment in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every curse fulfilling the work of disappointment in my life Die in the name of Jesus. Every curse fulfilling the work of disappointment in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every curse fulfilling the work of disappointment in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse fulfilling the work of disappointment in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise. Draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and draw me out of every darkness that the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and draw me out of every darkness the enemy has put me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my head, arise and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. My head, arise 
and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. My head arise and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. My head arise and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. My head arise and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. My head arise and go to your place of glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At the junction where the enemy is waiting to disgrace me. Oh God, arise and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. At the junction where the enemy is waiting to disgrace me. Oh God, arise and disgrace them. Oh God, arise and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.